Hey guys, welcome to another episode of VTech Academy. You're about to get school. This is uh, Brian Hasey from Fast Breaks. Hey. This is Michael Hinton from uh, Axion Motorsports. And we're here with the Axion Fit. This is the real star of the show. Uh, so uh, I have Michael here and Brian here because they're big fit fans and uh, you guys are active on the forums with the fits and stuff yeah. like that. You sell quite a few products that yeah. you sell brakes for them. Yeah. So I thought this was a good idea, good idea to get them all together so we could do some stuff with the car. Uh, first off, this car is getting an L15 B7. The mounts are already made. We've had the engine in the car, but before I put the engine back in and finish up the wiring on the car, I decided to try to show you what it's like to put a K-Series in these. Because a lot of people, the K-Series is going to be the choice. Yeah, we've had people, uh, we've had K-Series kits available for a while, uh, but I recently made some changes, made some new products, and I want to show you guys the different variations of engines and what mounts it's going to take in order to get them in, and frankly, how it fits inside the car. So, without further ado, let's get going. Okay, first up for our engines is actually a TSX engine. Uh, we're showing this one first because of a couple different things on the variation on it. First off, because it's a cord or TSX, we're gonna to have to use a block bracket. The block bracket will allow us to use our motor mount for the engine side. Uh, we also have a bracket that goes on the frame rail, looks like this, and these are dual height. So whether you're mounting a K20 or a K24, you're gonna be able to mount it at a height that keeps the exhaust in the same place, or the head of the engine in the same place. So that's why we do dual height. Uh, for the transmission side, there's this mount right here. It'll interface with this bracket right here. On the rear, we have kind of a weird kind of custom mount. This actually uh, bolts into the back of the block. The intermediate shaft goes right through here. And this bolts onto the transmission brace that's down below on the engine. You need to have either an RSX Type S uh, oil pan or a transmission brace because you're going to want to bolt this to it. The reason being is you need to have that extra strength down on the bottom of the transmission. These bolts are not enough to hold it and there's really no other bolts to bolt onto down there. Last, we're going to use uh, the torque mount and the torque mount is the GERR which is the normal torque mount we use for stock replacement on the fit. It also works on the CRZ, works on the second gen fit. Uh, this particular one will go like this on the rear bracket and just like it would stock, so, uh, and then attaches the rear subframe. So let's put it in. this is a K24 so we're mounting it at the lower positions if you notice when we were putting the bolts through the mounts through the brackets we use a lower hole that keeps the head in the same place as it would be on a K20 because on a K20 which is a shorter engine we'd be using the upper hole and one thing we notice here is we've got a little bit of interference here now if I was making this a permanent swap I would actually at this point trim right here to make room for that or I would use a different manifold although honestly it's going to require a fairly compact manifold like this one is the other one that might work is probably the RSX type S manifold so let's get that there the engine bolted in left mount and right mount what we're going to do now is we're going to lift the car up in the air and we're going to uh, put the subframe in and the rear mount on basically we had to do a little bit of a clearance cut on the end of that uh, you could be a lot more surgical your cut than I was I'm basically just trying to get it done quickly so that I could uh, so that I could get this in the car and just show you what it is. But basically on the transmission brace, 
the very end bolt is going to interfere. But what we're interested in is we're interested in this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt to kind of help strengthen the rear mount. Without those there, you are going to break that rear bracket, particularly if you happen to clip something, you know, road debris or something along those lines. So uh, now this brace is only required if you're using something with a steel oil pan. If you have the uh, aluminum oil pan that comes on any of the other models, that oil pan actually has these two bolt holes on the bottom so you can tie into this one bolt hole and that will uh, help keep your bracket steady and everything tight where it needs to be. Here it is with the, uh, with the clearance cut away. Again, I could have done it a little bit more surgically and then we would have had uh, probably not lost the uh, dust shield uh, function of the uh, brace, but uh, there it is on there. Okay, this is our TSX motor, same as K24A4, like a cord motor in the car. Uh, we're using, of course, a dual height mount. You can see because it's the taller K24, we're on the lower mount settings here. You know, you might actually be able to raise it up a little bit uh, and mount it for the higher settings. Um, that might even help a little bit with clearance. I believe that if you were doing this particular swap, what you'd want to do is use the 06 Civic SI header. It comes out the back and goes over top of the subframe. Uh, as you saw when we put the rear mount in, the subframe is pretty much flat across there and the exhaust comes out over top of that. Uh, my understanding is there are some companies that are making custom exhaust for these because there's we've actually sold quite a few of the kits for the for the GE and it would use the same uh, exhaust as the GE would. Um, the uh, it fits really nicely. Uh, the only thing that I consider an issue would be over here with the uh, AC. If you wanted to put an AC pump in there, you can kind of see how the pulley overlaps with the frame rail here. Um, so there's a little bit of an issue there. So you would need to make some, some cutouts down here below in order to make room for the, uh, the AC pump. It's gonna, it's gonna kind of come into this frame rail just a little bit. So you're gonna need to, need to make a little bit of an adjustment there to the, um, to the pulley. And you know what? I say that, and that may not actually be true. Uh, I guess we need to hang an AC pump on here and see if that's, that's factual. Uh, one of the reasons the uh, CRZ, uh, which is a very similar chassis, needs that is because this kicks back right here. Uh, but on this one, it doesn't. So it could very well be that you don't need to make any cuts whatsoever. It looks like uh, just take care of this wire and keep it out of the way. And it looks like AC would fit just fine in this car. Anyway, I think this is a really good engine for this car. The big problem is you have to backdate the electronics. Uh, the other choice, of course, is the K24Z motor. Fits in here very similarly, uh, just slight different mounts. Uh, but either one of those is a great choice for this, particularly if you're gonna race a car. Of course, our TSX motor won't actually have a power steering pump on it. It will have an idler pulley. So there'll be a little bit more belt clearance than you see on this particular photo. Looking at the transmission mount, this is our K24 transmission mount that works with the Accord and TSX transmissions. If you actually had an RSX transmission, no fear, or if you had a 2012 Civic SI transmission, there is a different mount that goes with this bracket, but it will still allow you to mount this K24 engine in here just like this. I found an AC pump, so I thought I'd give it a quick try. It is close. We got probably about, I don't know, a quarter inch of range in there. So not a whole lot of room. Uh, can you see it in there? So it's really, really tight. I believe that it would just require probably just a slight little cutout to make sure that under acceleration, when the lower part of the engine actually tries to move forward, it can't move forward enough to rub there. But it won't take much to get AC in this as well. So pretty cool. That means K24Z too. That uses basically the same pump. So either one of those engines, very cool. All right, we've got engine number two here. Uh, this is actually a base model RSX, but block-wise, it's pretty much the same as uh, what you'd find in a 06 Civic SI or RSX Type S or an EP3. 
Uh, I changed the intake manifold to get rid of the plastic ugly thing. Um, it has a base RSX transmission. The cases are the same as an RSX Type S. The mounting positions are the same as the 06 Civic SI. So I wanted to show you how that engine would work in this car. Okay, so the first difference here is gonna be our right-hand mount. Uh, our right-hand mount has a three-bolt mount that's gonna mount on. So we're gonna take the one out that we're using for the TSS, TSX slash Accord engine. And we're gonna put in this one that is usually for an RSX. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put it at the higher position. This is a K20 engine, it's shorter. So in order to keep the head in the same place, we're gonna mount these at the higher position. Same thing with this side over here. Bring it up. All right. All right, so we got it bolted in left and right. Uh, so now we're gonna lift it up, do the rear mount. Okay, this is a product we haven't offered before. We've been doing this for the uh, second gen fit and we've been doing it for the CRZ. Uh, this is a new rear bracket that is gonna be used. So if you've got an 06 Civic SI transmission, you can use this bracket. It's a little bit, uh, I would say, more well suited for this particular car. thought I want to point something out to everybody here so when we were mounting this motor we raised the motor up so we were using the higher bolt holes on the left and right mount when you use the higher bolt holes on the left and the right mount you use the lower bolt hole on the rear the reason people can't wrap their head around that is because you have to understand that the side brackets are mounted on the car the rear bracket is mounted on the engine so as we raise the motor that means you use the lower hole so Make sure you do that. Otherwise, what winds up happening is it twists the engine in there and you wind up with everything under tension, a lot more vibration. All right, let's see what it looks like. Okay, the engine sits in here so nice. It's like a perfect fit, pun intended. That just happened. One of the things I really like about K20s, K24s inside the fit is it really, really fits nice. By the way, you are gonna be needing a custom header. You can kind of use the 06 Civic SI header, but it doesn't quite work as well as something a little bit more custom. It, the, the header has to come out and go over top of the subframe. And what winds up happening is, if you use an 06 Civic one, it usually interferes with the uh, front sway bar. Now, a front sway bar isn't necessary for performance. It's just kind of more one of those things Honda puts on the car in order for it to handle the way they want to, which means for it to push if you get going too fast into a corner. So you can just remove that front sway bar and do it that way. But as you can see right here, there's plenty of room above the hood. Once we even put the cowl in, there's still plenty of room. By the way, you will need to uh, need to remove the cowl if you ever want to do like spark plug change or something like that, but that's only every 100,000 miles. Uh, there's also piles of room back here behind, uh, behind it as well. Uh, Next time, what we're going to do is we're going to take the 2012 Civic SI engine and put that in here. And that engine is actually a lot better suited for this particular car. Uh, it electronically works works a lot better. It's uh, uh, You can use that ECU with the majority of the stock wiring in this car, so it actually makes for a really nice swap. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button down below. And if you want to, you can even click on the bell. That means you get a notification every time we have a new video. Uh, and if you have a chance, head on over to the VTech Academy website at vtech.academy or vtechacademy.com and check out some of the merchandise we have. We have some pretty cool t-shirts and anything you buy actually helps us support the channel. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time uh, when we do the other K-Series engine and we're gonna put the L15 B7 engine in the car.